Welcome back. Still here in Wausau, Florida with the Vernon Band Boosters. Here with Stacy Levins right now at this fundraiser. There's a car show, there's a barbecue plate specials, and the Vernon Band. You're watching Real Florida Magazine, and we'll be right back. Welcome to the people, events, and business of the Real Florida. Real Florida Magazine highlights the pristine, unspoiled Florida. From special events to businesses to just getting away from it all, Real Florida Magazine offers a taste of the real Florida, the way it's supposed to be. Now available free of charge almost everywhere. So take a deep breath, relax, and get back to what's important. Check us out at realfloridamagazine.org. We'll be waiting for you. Welcome back. Still here in Wausau, Florida with the Vernon Band Boosters at this fundraiser. There's a car show, there's a barbecue plate specials, and the Vernon Band, um, are they going to be uh, performing again? More than likely, yes, they will this afternoon before we close. Here with Stacy Levins right now. Now, Stacy is one of the uh, the Vernon Band members' moms. Mm -hmm. And are, do you actually hold a position within the organization as well? Uh, no, I don't. I'm just a full-time supporter. Anything they need, that's what I do. I'm the gopher. <laughs> I was going to say, it looks like you do um, whatever anybody else doesn't want to do. Watching you just for the last couple of hours here, you've been staying pretty busy for somebody who's not uh, really an officer in the organization. Now the Vernon Band Boosters, um, very, very active here. A, a flea market last weekend, uh, lots going on everywhere. It's a full-time job uh, generating enough money to make this stuff happen. Uh, Stacy, talk a little bit about what's going on here today and the overall effort of the Vernon Band Boosters. Right now, what this fundraiser is for is so that our children can march at Disney. They have been accepted to march at Disney at the Magic Kingdom on March the 8th. And we're very, very excited for that. Um, these kids have come so far in the last couple of years. Mr. Harkis, since he's joined us, he is taking these children to different levels. And we are just very, very proud of that. We, in just in the short while that we've been covering uh, the events here in, in Washington County, have actually noticed that. The Vernon Band, uh, whether you see them at the football games, whether um, at the uh, uh, parades or special events, you are exactly right. And um, uh, she's not just saying that because she's a mom, because, as I say, we have noticed that. Today they, they played a few songs out here. Um, very impressive. And, you know, it, it takes work. It takes time. It takes dedication. And it seems like you've got that trifecta with these kids. They're hardworking and they're proud. And I think that pride is what it's going to take to keep those long hours that it takes. Absolutely. These children have uh, they've matured, they've grown, um, and they are definitely the pride of Vernon. And we are very, very proud of them. We kind of scratch our heads sometimes. Um, it seems like there are just way too many groups in Vernon all trying to raise money for their individual little segment. I understand that. But at the same time, it, it seems like you could put all of those efforts together and maybe come out with more. I also understand that people are proprietary about their interests. Nothing wrong with that. Um, in a perfect world, we would really like to see more participation between the city, between the different factions within the high school, the band boosters, the, uh, the athletic uh, 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 boosters. Um, is there any opportunity for that in the future, do you think? Do you think there'll ever be that, that, uh, that option? Uh, probably not, to be perfectly honest, because everybody has different agendas. Um, you know, everybody has different goals on where they want to take their children and what we want to do with them. But, you know, for us to be such a small group of parents, um, we've really done amazing things with the kids, like the, the warm-ups that they're wearing. You know, we've earned enough money to pay for the warm-ups for the children. I mean, and that's a, they take great pride in that, you know. They're proud to wear that. So, but yeah, probably not. Yeah, and, and that's fine. I mean, you know, obviously you're doing a good job of what you're doing. Um, and my goodness, to be selected to go to Disney and then just in a few short weeks uh, to be there. Spoke to one of the other moms a minute ago, and it sounds like you're, you're getting close to meeting your goals. Are most of the kids covered? We have raised almost, a, we're probably just maybe 1000 to $1,500 away from our goal. And we're hoping by the close of t today that we will have met that goal. And that means that the children's tickets will be paid for, their room. Um, we're throwing them a pizza party the first night down there. So it's going to be a really, really fun time for these kids, and they're going to make a lot of memories. Now, as in any organization, it seems like 10% of the people do 90% of the work. But it looks like you've got um, a little bit better participation than that. You know, we, again, we, we see you. We see you at the, uh, the political uh, fundraiser that you had here uh, prior to November. Um, and it seems like you've, get, you've got a lot of help. Now, we can't tell if, ever, if you've got all of your parents here, but it seems like you've got a lot of them. We have a really good group of parents that they really want to be active in the kids' events and stuff. So we are very blessed in that aspect. 
Well, thank you for uh, for being here today. It's a it's a great event. Now, do you actually live in Vernon? Uh, absolutely. Uh, many of your um, school students actually live outside of Vernon, uh, Wausau, Sunny Hills. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, how does that work? Do they have the option of where to go, or if they're in a certain district, do they have to go to a certain school? It's the district that decides where, what school they attend. Okay. So. But it seems like Wausau has a lot in common with Vernon Absolutely. because of that proximity and the fact that kids, uh, some kids in Wausau go to Tripoli, some go to mm -hmm. Vernon. Not sure how that works, but obviously... This is a close-knit county. We, we have to get away from the city limits. We have to get away from, hey, I'm from Vernon, I'm from Chipley, I'm from Sunny Hills, I'm from, from wherever, um, especially when you're in Ebro or Kerryville, and most people don't even know those are in Washington County, um, and in a perfect world, and it seems to be getting closer to that. There does seem to be less competition, more holding hands and cooperative spirit. It's a good community effort is what it is, and like you said, you, you don't put a county line on it. It's, 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 it's all for the good of the children. Well, good job, um, and thanks for all that you do. You are helping to support those kids who are our future. There's no doubt, um, uh, not too many years from now, they're the ones that are going to be holding office, and, and uh, we're going to be held accountable too. and we are entrusting our future to. So no more noble cause, certainly. Absolutely, and I'm pretty secure in my future with this group of kids. Well said. We're here in Wausau, Florida at uh, what is the first car show fundraiser for the Vernon Band Boosters. Uh, a beautiful day. We're here actually getting a tan today. It's the second day of February, and in spite of that, uh, it's a beautiful day. started out awfully cold. Uh, had a hard frost this morning, and the day was a little slow getting started, but right now it's beautiful. Uh, it's a shame you're not here, but watch for it. They're out there talking, possibly making this twice-a-year event, and if so, we're certainly going to be here to cover it. You're watching Real Florida Magazine, and we'll be right back.